God is telling us that in order for us to be sealed as Seventh-day Adventists, we must sigh and cry for the wrongs that are taking place within our ranks. First, in our lives, and then in the lives of those around us. In other words, we must have a genuine revival and reformation in our lives. In order to sigh and cry, we must study the Word of God. We must study the Spirit of Prophecy. Then pray and repent by a full surrender to Christ. We must let His Word permeate our being so that we can overcome every sin, every obstacle to salvation. Our eating, our dressing, our thinking, our working, our socializing must all be in harmony with God's revealed will. That's the only way for us to be saved today. Just keeping the Sabbath is not going to do it. Just going to church is not going to do it. We must now receive this special seal that is only for Seventh-day Adventists, those who already know the Sabbath and know the third angel's message. We must have a genuine individual revival and reformation. We must have a genuine corporate revival and reformation.